We recording? Yep. <laughs> I was waiting for you to wrap it up there. I didn't know you'd hit it. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bardia. Five Trail Unbroken Spirit Blended American Whiskey. That's a lot, because we got to test it. Down a rabbit trail, baby, rabbit trail. Unbroken style. Woo. Got to be a reference to horses, unbroken. Probably. Yeah. Five Trail Unbroken Spirit. Okay. Blended American whiskey, proofed with Rocky Mountain water. Mm. And just read right there on the top of the bottle, what's that say? Coors. Coors whiskey. Mm. Yep. Coors has entered the whiskey business. Really? They said, people love the silver bullet. The Royal Banquet, we need... It's the Banquet Beer. An Unbroken Spirit. We used to have Killigan's, or Killig... No, not Killigan's. Uh, that was my favorite. Kill oh, beer? Killian's? Killian's, yeah, it was a red. Killian's, Irish. Well, they Killian's. must have bought. That yeah. was an Irish red, yes. wasn't it? Yep. Uh, and I lived in Evergreen. The uh, Not the main son that ran it, but the other son. He attended our church with his wife, Phyllis, and their son, Scott. <laughs> so... Uh, Coors Whiskey Company, uh, I saw it on here, proofed with Rocky Mountain water. Which is what they, they used to say on their cans was, use Rocky Mountain water. Oh, yeah. Yep. Brewed. Brewed with, Brewed with Rocky, Rocky Mountain water. Yep. 47.5% ABV, a harmony of Colorado single malt whiskey and straight bourbons. Now, they're not using like a Coors logo or anything, though. Uh huh. Well, I mean, it does, I mean, it probably logo. says, yeah, I mean, it says Coors Whiskey Company, which they've got a new CWO emblem for. Hmm. Batch number 01CWC21A Adam. Because there's a lot of That's people, lot there's, of there's people named Coors that have nothing to do with the distillery, is all I'm saying. There is? Yeah. Well, I'm sure. So. That's why I'm wondering. Oh, is it? Actually, no, this is from Coors. It yeah. is affiliated with the distillery. Yeah. Okay. Are they aging it in beer barrels or anything? Well, it's the Coors Whiskey Company. So from the Coors, from what Matt told me at the liquor store, this is from Coors. Hmm. Right. But what's funny, I just noticed it says blended, blended and bottled by Coors Whiskey Company, Bardstown, Kentucky. So it would be sourced. See, they, it's spelled different. Coors, no, it's the, not. It's Coors whiskey. It's, I don't think so. C O O R S, Coors? Mm -mm. How do they spell it? I thought it was C O A R S. C O A R S? No. It's been a long time since I've had the banquet beer, but I used to look at it a lot. <laughs> but no, Coors Whiskey Company, and they're using Rocky Mountain water, and you just went right in on the palate. I took a little we sip. We blabbered, yeah. You sipped a little, didn't you? Well, you got to question the whole Coors Whiskey Company. It's I don't Coors. buy it. It's Coors. I don't think it's connected. I think it is. I'm just telling you I'm going to be a dissident. <laughs> the nose is sweet. Honey's. Oak in the background. Oak, caramel. But a little bit of a, a little hint of musk or... Elon Musk? No. <laughs> that would be good, though. Freedom. <laughs> he's a hint he, of Elon he's the Musk head would be, would the be head, good. No, the head. Okay. What, no, what did he call himself? The head Nothing twerp, wrong with that. The head twerp or tweet. The head twit. Twit. The head twit. I like how he makes fun of himself. That's what I like. That smelled it, like Elon. It doesn't smell like a bourbon. I mean, it's milder, tamer. It smells like an American whiskey where it's just been used, not first filled. Bourbon barrels have been filled, right. you know, prior yes. fill. It's it's smoother, lighter, sweeter, nice cinnamons. <laughs> it smells like Elon. <laughs> <laughs> 
A uh, little, little bit of American whiskey. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they use it like a refill barrel. Yeah. A little bit of a uh, little bit of maltiness, a little bit of well, Colorado single malt. We just mentioned it on the Westland review with Stranahan's. I get some of that Colorado single malt. Mm. It's not very distinct though. Um Hints of wood, hints of char. Mm, the finish is nice, a little bit of a spicy hmm, nutmeg kind of cola finish. Yeah. Hmm. The finish is the my, my favorite thing there. Yeah. Little nuttiness going on. Sweet cinnamon. Um Almost get a little slight rye note, a little bit of spiciness, but bar is kind of a nice, really melding here of all these of the bourbons and the American and the single malts Water. coming together. Water. Yeah, I like the forty-seven and a half. It's actually pretty rich on the palate, sweet, sweet corn. Yeah, um, the uh, cream corn, cream yeah. corn. Hmm. Again, cola in the uh, after t finish, the, the, the aftertaste is, is a cola nut. A little bit of root beer barrel candy going. It actually, uh, it's better than I had expected from, I mean, for, for Coors whiskey, or if, it's, if this is the Coors <laughs> brand, which I'm sure is using the same. They would. I don't think they'd be able to use the same spelling and the same name. Maybe. Uh, for the first release, if this is Coors Brewery slash Distillery that released this, it's better than I had expected. I expected just a little bit younger, a little bit harsher. Uh, like let's package something and get out of market and make some money. And it really feels like this is a little bit more thought out. There's a little bit more. Well, our journey to craft and blend this amazing whiskey brought together five incredible ingredients that speak to both the history of bourbon and the country in this country and to our history right here in the Centennial State, including whiskeys distilled by the most renowned bourbon pioneers in Kentucky and Indiana. So what we're meaning MGP, as well as those made of high country barley straight from our malt house in Golden. Well, that is where the Coors Distillery is. I used to work in Golden. So, all brought together with the purest water in America, straight from the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. My first cop job was at the Colorado School of Mines. Mines? Mines. Yeah, it was more of a, it's an engineering school. Top notch, baby. Top oh, mines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, because you were talking about Coors, Coors, same spelling. If it was Budweiser <laughs> Distillery, would you think it's not tied to the Budweiser Brewery? I, I bet you they'd have a Budweiser in there and have a Y in it or yeah. something. You know, what's so I, funny is it's like uh, Coors on the, on the banquet beer is cursive. Oh, and it just looks weird to me with the C O O R S, but of course it is. But it's that O coming off, and I don't know. I don't know. It just catches me they as odd looking. They didn't want people to confuse it with the beer. Sure. Oh my God, this isn't the beer. <laughs> and they're chugging it like, oh, it's so much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Coors beer? Wow, this is the real this, banquet. This is more like a super banquet beer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm actually impressed with it. I'm not saying it's, it's, it, it's not the best American whiskey we've had. It's not the darkest, the richest, the best finish, but it's good. It's smooth, sweet. It's better than I had expected. I like it overall. A harmony of Colorado single malt and straight bourbons. So you've got this blend of single malts and bourbon. I think that's what's throwing me here a little bit. It's good, but I would have rather had it a, you know, I'm partial to malted barley. I would have rather had a Colorado single malt. They'd see what Stranahan's is doing, but hey, they're doing their own thing.
Mm-hmm. And I didn't even know how they were spelling their name. Spilling? Spilling their name. Spilling. <laughs> I get 87 while you're rambling there. I don't know where you're going. 85. With that. I don't know where I'm going. It's all over the place. Sometimes he starts sentences. It seems like he doesn't even know where it's going. Well, it's a blend goes. of an American single malt or a Colorado single malt with a bourbon. Okay. They've sourced from Kentucky and MGP, I'm assuming, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Colorado, okay. it's Colorado, Kentucky, and Indiana, right? All combined together. That's three trails. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Like I say, it exceeded 85, expectations. 85. It's, it's, uh, it's, I like it. Uh, Sixty dollars. Yeah. I actually think so. At forty-seven and a half percent, I think it's worth it. I think you'll like it. It's different, but if you want to be brought into something different, new, I think they should have put it at like forty. 40 bucks would have brought mm. in. You give it a try and then let them keep working on it. I thought you were saying 40% ABV. It no, confused me for a second. No, no. $40, $40 on the money side. But hey. Dep- well, and depending on the market, I suppose maybe there's a fluctuation in there. It was 60 here. And, and I wish they had a little Rocky Mountain thing. I kind of do. I mean, it's got a, a, yeah. a mountain in the background there. Yeah. So, but I, I just, I don't know. I wish it said like banquet whiskey. <laughs> Gotcha, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>